Throughout Geometry Dash's history, there have been many levels that were, or still are, believed to be humanly impossible. These levels have all usually followed a certain formula, and it gave the levels a certain quality that makes them feel intimidating and sometimes even menacing to the people who watch them. But over time, as players got better and better, some of these levels started to lose their impossibility. A once impossible level sometimes has a chance of becoming a legitimately beaten extreme demon, and it usually takes just a few bug fixes or small nerfs to make it possible. And sometimes, other creators will remake an impossible level to bring it up to modern standards. Back in the 2.0 days, levels like Silent Circles, Silent Club Step, Sukupin Circles, and Slaughterhouse were all well-known impossible levels. And in the coming years, some of these levels would be proven to be humanly possible in one way or another. And following this, some of them received fully revamped versions in the modern era. And with the remakes being made, it only made the excitement around the levels grow more. Could there be a formerly impossible level on the top spot? In this video, we're going to be diving into the deep and unique history of one of these four levels, and the level in question is none other than Sukup and Circles, a level created by Nick24 that was once thought to surpass every human limit that the players had. But now, it comfortably sits on top of every other demon on the list and in the entire game. This is the history of Sukup and Circles. For the beginning, we're going to have to travel back to 2015. The story of the level begins back in 1.9 when a Geometry Dash player by the name of Nick24 had emerged. At the time, barely anything was known about him at all besides the fact that he was an unregistered green user who only ever really released a few basic barebone levels, and one of these levels was called Sukup and Circles. Sukup and Circles was a red, hell-themed, fast-paced, impossible Nine Circles level with some of the most brutal gameplay to ever touch a Circles level. It used the same song as another popular level at the time, Sukup and Hell, but Sukup and Circles was a bit different. The decoration was nothing special, with everything besides the wave looking incredibly empty and obviously rushed, and if the pre-drop isn't enough to show it, a part of the last section was copy and pasted from Cataclysm as well. Due to these things, it didn't really gain a ton of traction when it first hit the servers. Its impossibility was all it really had going for it, and due to hack verifying levels being a relatively harder task to achieve back then, it likely wasn't necessarily hated by the people who saw it when it first came out either. However, that would change not too long after. In October of 2015, a popular figure named Tosh Deluxe uploaded a semi-auto showcase of Sukupin Circles for his Impossible Level series. This video quickly gained a ton of traction, and to this day, the video that Tosh made has over 800,000 views. It is commonly believed that this video is what caused the level to skyrocket in popularity, but the credibility of that statement is rather up to interpretation. Either way, after this video of the level was posted, it not too long after became one of the most well-known impossible levels as did many other levels that were uploaded as a part of his series. And over time, the level still somehow managed to maintain relevance. Some of it can be attributed to Exxon's faked progress videos and completion of it in September of 2018, but it was immediately found out to be hacked shortly after its explosion in popularity. The community's sudden remembrance of this old, forgotten level had caused a few different things to happen. One of these things was Exxon creating a remake of Sukupin Circles called Sukupin Circles X. For his fake progress videos, Exxon played on this version for quite a while until he decided to host a creator contest for a remake of the level for him to allegedly beat it on. At the time, he was mostly believed around the community to be legitimate, because even though we know today that his progress videos and completion were hacked, 
all of the videos exposing him back then didn't really have enough evidence to convince people that he was cheating. This creator contest would go on as planned, and because of the original level's relative simplicity and short length, many, many remakes of the level were made. The vast majority of them were not of particularly high quality though, but a select few stood out. And even though Exxon's own Sukupin Circles X ended up winning his own contest, there was another entry to it that stood out, as well as two other remakes which were made later on for other reasons. The first is Exxon's Limit. Exxon's Limit is a remake of Sukupin Circles created by Xylanox as an entry into his contest, which he later uploaded to the servers with the same name. This remake stood out because for its time, the decoration was actually very solid, making an interesting spin on the typical red, orange, and black color scheme. Even though this remake never went anywhere, it's definitely still important to mention, as back in 2018, it was by far the best looking of these trendy Sukupin Circles remakes. The next notable remake is Odyssey's version of Sukupin Circles. His version took on a very unexpected approach for a Circles level, using a lot of white and red as opposed to black and taking on a more laser blitz-like style. In addition, some of the gameplay, primarily the spam, was changed to make it a possible extreme demon, and it was said to be verified by Crydex, who will be talked about more later on. This remake, however, didn't really go anywhere in terms of verification, and stays up on YouTube to this day as a distant glance at what Sukupin Circles may have ended up becoming had things gone differently. As for the next notable remake, Anno's version, the video has been deleted and is thus lost to time. All that is known of it in the current day is that it was a remake that was somewhat similar to Odd Season decoration, but the pre-drop gameplay was entirely replaced, and the decoration somewhat took away the Nine Circles effect in the wave. This didn't have a set verifier, but that wasn't until June of 2020, when GD Iris got permission from Anno to reboot the level and turn it into a completely new version. This had serious potential, with amazing visuals, gameplay that was certainly a step up from the original, and an extension that made it long in length as opposed to medium. It was set to be top 5, and was planned to be verified by Alphanetic, who got runs of 48 to 80 and 60 to 100 on an unfinished version. Ah! Finally! Finally! That's just it though. Oh. Despite being hyped up and well received throughout the community, the level was just never finished. It's unclear if it ever will be, and no one can really say for sure. But going back to the creator contest, after Exxon received backlash for winning his own contest, he decided to go back to a slightly altered version of the original Sukupin Circles for his videos and in September of 2018, his quote-unquote completion marked the end of this. But with all these remakes, and the popularity of Sukupin Circles rising once again, the question arose. Could this level ever be legitimately beaten? Could it maybe, just maybe, become possible? In addition to all of the remakes being made, the original level had also started to see some progress. The first sign of anyone ever making any progress with the video proof came all the way back before Tasha's video on August 23rd, 2015, when an extremely unknown player by the name of Zway Speedruns achieved a run of 13%, passing the first cube and managing to get to the ship section. Obviously this world record would be beaten many times, some of which were not even that long after it was uploaded but it's still important to mention that this video was most likely the very first one of its kind. The first person to get to the wave section from Zero is unknown, but the earliest ones probably happened in late 2017, considering that the earliest video still public comes from November of 2017. Now again, multiple people had gotten records between 13% and 39% throughout this time period, but considering how difficult the other parts of the level were, people getting to the wave section from zero wasn't all that groundbreaking. It was the easiest part of the level, and really anyone could do it with a bit of practice. The waves were truly what dominated the level's difficulty far more than anything else. And it wasn't until June of 2018, when an extremely skilled challenge player named Kathring, known as Honor at the time, 
became the first ever player to do the infamous run of 66 to 100 on Sukup and Circles. He had achieved this run after 100 plus deaths at the last double click and over 20,000 attempts of playing. The breath of life that Exen put into this level, even if his progression wasn't legit, had inspired someone else to give the level a go. And in doing so, Catherine truly proved himself to the community as one of the best challenge players out there. Kaith had later copy-pasted the 66 section into its own separate level and verified it as a challenge, aptly named Sukup and Circles 66P. However, there was a catch to this version. It had certain pieces of decoration taken out of the structures, allowing the player to see where to click, unlike in the original. This run did, however, spark quite a controversy in the challenge community. Some doubted Kaith's legitimacy, but over time he would prove all of the accusations wrong. Sukup and Circles 66P was initially not placed on the challenge list anyway though, because it was a run from an already existing level. And after causing many arguments among members and staff for around a month, the list team had reconsidered, and ultimately decided to add the level at number 1, where it stayed for quite a while. And shortly after, Kaith went on to try the rest of the level, this time playing from the start of the wave. Kaith found it much harder than the 66 to 100 run and pretty much instantly struggled to do any significant runs on it. And even after 20,000 attempts, Kaith just couldn't do it. And shortly after, he dropped the level entirely. And with the only person capable of making any notable progress dropping out, all signs of progress became dormant once again. That was, until somebody thought they had what it took with the player being a guy named Sizzy. Sizzy was a skilled challenge player who already had experience with hard wave challenges. He started playing the level near the end of 2018, and he was very quick to make good progress. But what he didn't know was that in the course of 2019, he was about to do something enormous. On February 6, 2019, Sizzy not only managed to achieve the world record from zero, getting 42%, but also did an incredible run of 37 to 46, which was the entire first big wave and half of the mini wave after. And what's even more crazy is that the run only took him a total of 3,200 attempts, with around 2,000 of those being old. He then uploaded this section of the servers as a challenge called Diamond Dance for anyone willing enough to play. When Kaith found out this had been done, and in such a low attempt count as well, he felt defeated and almost immediately vanished from the game, privating all of his videos and deleting the Sukuban Circle 66p challenge from the servers in the process. However, he later on gave it to Akura Kurizu to re-upload the challenge, and it was re-added to the challenge list accordingly. In addition, a few days after he allegedly quit, Kaith did end up managing to finally pull off Diamond Dance, becoming the second ever person to do the section, after Sizzy had done it just days before. Afterwards though, progress yet again became silent. Some people made progress on Diamond Dance and 66P, but as far as anyone knew, nothing noteworthy really happened until July of 2019. In mid-2019, a player named Crydex, who had been quietly gaining consistency, became the third ever person to do the big wave at the start of the drop but on the actual level instead of on the Diamond Dance Challenge. And around a month later, he would break Sizzy's world record with an incredible 46%, passing the first Miniwave consistency spam from zero, as well as later uploading a run of 37 to 58. Some people doubted his legitimacy, but Crytex had the proof to back it up, and even did a few mouse cam streams in which he allegedly showed insane consistency at the big wave. And fast forward to October, he managed to pull off an astonishing run of 52%, passing the second mini wave consistency spam and the first two clicks of the dual wave after. This would stay as the world record from zero for a very long time. Crydex would also become the second person ever to pull off 66 to 100, except for the fact that he did it without the visibility nerf that Kaith had in his version. One thing to note about this is that this run was likely done on 480 FPS, which nowadays is considered above the maximum FPS allowed today, but there's no real way to know. After this though, 
We wouldn't see too much more from Crydex, with the exception of some notable runs like 36 to 59, 46 to 68, and 64 to 100. There wasn't much else after that at all, besides a run of 36 to 67, which he didn't achieve until April of 2020. This was the final run before he would gradually fade out of the game, and after some time, deleting his YouTube channel in the process. It is also important to note that sometime around this period, he changed his in-game name and YouTube channel name to I Hayasaka, and shortly after he did this, he verified and uploaded a challenge he made called IC, which was Diamond Dance twice in a row, for anyone to attempt to beat. And in the time that Crydex was grinding and making progress, another competitor had been slowly working his way up in the background, and the player was showing no signs of slowing down. On December 14th, 2019, Qberry managed to become the fourth person to ever do Diamond Dance. And fast forward to January, he managed to pull off 66 to 100, being the third person to ever do so, and in only 11,400 attempts. In addition to this, he most likely was the first person to legitimately do the 66 to 100 run, since this record was undeniably done on an allowed FPS value and does not have the visibility nerf. The future looked very promising for Qberry, and with his incredible skill, it seemed he could pull off runs on the level that no one else could. But surprisingly, Qberry did not go any further with Sukuban Circles, and has since unlisted both of these videos. And while the progress was really impressive, he didn't go further. At this point, there was a clear barrier. What was to happen? It was an uncertain time to say the least, with barely anyone at all being able to do the 66 to 100 run, and with the interest in the level slowly dying down, we didn't know for sure what would end up happening, or if anyone out there would ever be crazy enough to attempt it in one run. Besides, the version of the level everyone was playing on was essentially just a layout anyway. Who was going to put in countless hours of dedication into such a primitive, barren level? Well, no one. But that's not to say the level would die. In fact, it would end up becoming very much the opposite. Enter Muffy, a well-known player and creator, mainly known for his insane dedication and attempts on Sonic Wave. And in early 2020, he decided he wanted to build a 1.9 styled level for fun, but he didn't really know where to start. But that's exactly what gave him the idea to remake Sukuban Circles, mainly to make it more of a complete level while also retaining its original 1.9 style. And so, in September of 2019, work on Iron God began. By July of 2020, Muffy had finished redecorating and changing the gameplay to the point where the level was complete. This version was intended to make the level more playable, and was aimed to be around top 15 to 20, with the level being harder than Sonic Wave, but easier than Crimson Planet. At this point, all that was left was for somebody to verify it. The plan was for Muffy to try to verify it himself, but in case he couldn't, Muffy also gave a copy to a skilled player named Doshid in case he couldn't beat it first, as sort of a friendly verification was. It was smooth sailing at first, with Muffy not taking very long to do a run of 66 to 100, but not long after, he managed to pull off 49 to 100, which was the start of the dual mini wave. He claimed that this run alone on the level, though heavily nerfed from the original, was still harder than Exo, which was 33 on the list at the time. Doche, on the other hand, never made any progress, and Muffy eventually became too demotivated to play the level further, and Muffy eventually dropped the level. And with Muffy dropping Iron God, it once again left Sukupin Circles out of reach. That was, until somebody else thought they had what it took to verify it. And this player would take this revamp to, quite literally, a whole other level. And his name is Cursed. Cursed is extremely good at the game, and given the incredible skill evolution that Cursed had, it gave him serious potential to make never-before-seen progress. 
Many challenge players by this point were able to beat the 66p challenge, diamond dance, and other challenges related to Sukuban circles. So initially, what he did wasn't all that impressive. But even so, the moment he started playing Sukuban circles would change everything. On December 27th, 2020, he first did 66 to 100 as part of a pack for the challenge list. And exactly two months after, on February 27th, he would beat Diamond Dance as his second progress on the level. Now normally, challenge players attempting Sukuban Circles runs would end here, but Cursed was only getting started. Remember the challenge Crydex made back in early 2020? The one called IC? Well, Crydex's legacy wasn't gone for good, because on May 21st, after multiple deaths at the final wave, Cursed managed to verify IC after Crydex's version had been removed due to a lack of clicks in the verification. And with Cursed verifying the challenge, it placed it number 7 on the challenge list, replacing Diamond Dance, and it was later moved up to number 6, above Toxic Blades. Now you'd think, after beating two extremely hard challenges, and even doing one of them twice in a row, one would be tired of playing Sukup in circles, right? Well, not for Cursed. The next day after verifying IC, on May 22nd, he broke Crydex's world record of 52% on the unnerfed Sukuban circles that had stood for over a year and a half, and got an astonishing 56%. It was on his own version that had a nerfed version of the spam, some slight buffs to things like the pre-drop and the 40% click, and fixed transitions. It was around the time that Cursed would reach out to Muffy who he had seen working on Iron God back in early 2020. Cursed asked if he could verify a version of Iron God, but with the original gameplay of Sukupin Circles and his fixes. Muffy agreed, and the gameplay was reverted to the original Sukupin Circles, but with the addition of fixes and nerfs that Cursed had made, and Muffy's new second cube, which replaced the redundant mini spike jumps. However, Muffy's deco still wasn't quite up to standard and for a level this significant, it just had to have a more visual appeal. Initially, Curse decided to reach out to Kairos to help upgrade this version, in which Kairos accepted. However, later on he was contacted by Dr. Cuber, who offered to redecorate it with the help of his team, and it would have Muffy's original revamp as the level's LDM. Curse accepted this offer, and the remake began development while he progressed on Muffy's version in the background and by October of 2021, Dr. Cuber and his team had finished the revamp. And not only did it put the level in an entirely new light, but the level was far better looking than anyone could have expected. Not too long after Muffy's version was shown publicly, on August 9th, Cursed got a run of 36 to 60, getting to the spam from the beginning of the drop. <gasps> what? Some time passed, and on the 20th of the same month, he managed to pull off 58 to 100, marking the first time anyone had ever done a run to 100 that was better than 66. What the hell? <laughs> Get the run! Spam to 100. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is that 58? Is that 58? 58. And only a day after that, he got 57%. And shortly after, 58. What? 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 And for the first time ever, somebody had Sukupin circles in only two different runs. He was getting closer, and everyone's eyes were starting to turn on him. The hype that had once surrounded Sukupin Circles was finally coming back, and it was bigger and better than it ever had been before. And as time went on, he got a new best of 60% on September 18th, becoming the first ever person to get to the spam from zero. What? I got 60! Oh, no way! No! I got to the spam! Yes! <laughs> Yes! This run was incredible, especially since everything before the spam was harder or just as hard as the unnerfed. 
but only four days later, Kirst would shock everyone. On September 22nd, Kirst got a new best of 69%. He had not only been the first player to ever pass the spam, but he had also gotten past both of the first two double clicks on his first time there. It seemed like the end was near. With him getting that far into the level, it was enough to convince people that Sakubin Circles being verified was just around the corner, and the community's pressure as hype had gotten to a point that the level never had seen before. His consistency on streams was shocking everyone, and he would further demonstrate it when he verified Determination Dance, which was Diamond Dance four times in a row, only three days after getting 69. At the time, this was the second hardest challenge in the game, second only to VSC. Had it been verified five days earlier, it would have been number one, with that only taking him a few days to verify. This further showed his absurd consistency and continued to absolutely shock the community. And it didn't end there. About a week later, he got another world record from Zero, but this one was different from the others. He died at 70%, which he had gotten a few times prior, but this, unlike the other 70% fails, was at the very last click of the infamous doubles. Had he had clicked slightly later, it very well could have been the end, since nothing after the double clicks was terribly hard compared to the rest, and Cursed was just frames from matching it. For the next month, Cursed would continue to die between 66 and 70 many more times, until November 14th, when he did the infamous run of 36 to 100, which was the entire wave and everything after it. I have 57 to 100, oh my god! Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, didn't you just start screaming? This was the very end. Everyone could feel it, and all he had left was the pre-drop. Could he do it? Well, that's what everybody thought. After doing 50 to 100 50 times, 49 to 100 14 times, 36 to 100 twice, and 19 deaths at the double clicks from zero, with a grand total of 147,000 attempts, Kirst announced that he was dropping Sukup in circles. The level had just gotten too stressful for him, and even though it was only a day after getting 37 to 100, he had gotten very demotivated and had grown tired of enduring the suffering that came with playing a level as hard as this. He had put an unbelievable amount of work into it, effectively bringing the level back to life, all for it to become unbearable to pull through in the end. He uploaded a copy of his version to the servers for anyone to play, stating that he may come back to it in the future, but for the time being, he needed a break more than anything else. He also said he would consider giving a copy of the redecorated version to anyone who made good enough progress, and just like that, all hope that anyone had of the level being verified was gone. The only player who was capable of taking the level on had dropped out. That is, was the only player. Because not too long after, somebody else thought they had what it took to take the level on. And his level of dedication was even able to match Cursed, if not better. And his progression on the level certainly didn't disappoint. Diamond is an incredibly skilled challenge player who was also looking to push the limits of the game. He had started out beating Sukubin Circle's challenges, which were incredibly impressive for its time, considering almost all of the challenges were in the top 10. And he didn't stop there. He kept going further with Sukubin Circle's and related challenges, and over time developed insanely good consistency with almost every part of the level. He would first verify I'm Blind, which was Sukubin Circle's 66p twice in a row, and would get some good accuracy runs like 98.6 and eventually 99.07, as well as getting 56% from zero and later beating IC as well. And as time went on, 
he would end up being the first victor of Determination Dance, and would also later verify I'm Deaf, which was the 66-70% way of spam maze four times in a row. And as soon as Curse dropped the level, it quickly became clear that if anyone besides Cursed was going to verify Sukup in circles, it was going to be Diamond. And so, Diamond ended up getting a copy of the redeco and became the new official verifier. And Diamond would make really quick work. Diamond would soon start playing from zero and quickly saw results, getting 67% on November 13th, fluking the entire spam section and dying at the second double click. Oh, what? 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 We have to go. You actually flipped the spam. I actually split so the spam. Oh my god! I'm. Oh my god. What? But then, only a week later, the unthinkable happened. Diamond miraculously managed to get all the way to 76%, becoming the first ever player to pass the double clicks from zero. This was a truly devastating fail since it was past the infamous double clicks and pretty much all of the level's difficulty. And as painful as this may have been for Diamond, it marked the very final stretch of the level's long-awaited verification. And on December 8th, he managed to do 37 to 100. And three days after that, he uploaded a fail of 70%, since the 76% recording had been corrupted. No, I got 70! I got 70! I got 70! But if there's something people did know, it was that Diamond was more than capable of pulling through and verifying Sukupin circles. And if Diamond was able to do so, he would make history. And so, for the next month straight, Diamond would grind harder than he has ever done before. The end was near. Diamond had almost a quarter left, and it was coming faster than ever before. History was about to be made, and all the community could do was anxiously wait for Diamond to pull it off. And to everyone's surprise, on December 29th, that's exactly what Diamond was going to do. Over seven years after its initial release to the servers, and over 220,000 attempts later, Diamond had done the impossible. Sukupin Circles had just been legitimately completed by a modern player. When Nick24 was building the level all those years ago, never did he or anyone else ever expect somebody to legitimately complete this. But in 2021, somebody was crazy enough to do it. And in the end, Diamond would be the guy to pull it off. And the level wouldn't take long to get rated either. But before that could happen, somebody had returned to playing the level. Somebody had returned to playing the level after a long battle of trying to verify it before. 
and with a lot of the previous stress gone due to Diamond verifying it, and from taking a general break from the level, Cursed had returned to Sukup in circles. And this time, Cursed was confident in his abilities to complete it. And for the next week straight, that's what Cursed wanted to achieve. He managed to get 70% on the level mere hours after Diamond had verified it, and the same people who rooted for him previously were more than certain that Cursed would end up being the first victor of the level. And sure enough, only a day after the level became raided, Cursed had done just that. And after 195,000 attempts, a devastating fail at 80%, and non-stop hours of grinding the level out, Cursed too could finally rest. He may not have been the verifier in the end, but he didn't care. It was over. Nowadays, the level sits comfortably on the number one spot on the demon list, right above Slaughterhouse and Firelock. And that is the story of Sukupin Circles. In the beginning, Sukupin Circles was only another impossible level, and in the end, it was sitting at the number one spot on the demon list. Many players tried, Many stepped down, and the level received six remakes before just one person was able to complete it. This has been the history of Sukupin Circles, and as always, thanks for watching.